Welcome to the FRC Recap, where you get the breakdown and discussions on what's going on in the FRC community. For first updates now, I'm Tyler Olds. And I'm Dave Powers. Our guest tonight needs a little introduction from his work with Powerhouse Team 973 to his always comical Chief Delphi posts. He's been in the FRC game since 2004. Please help me in welcoming our guest from the tech capital of the world, <laughs> Adam Hurd. Thanks for having me, guys. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Adam, delighted to have you on. Lots of stuff to talk about the show. Let's jump in with our headlines. So last week, uh, first posted their social media platforms a statement, and uh, specifically on Instagram a little bit more, you saw the black square image uh, on there with the following statement. We stand against racism and hatred, and we stand together in, sol in uh, sol man, pronunciation, sol solidarity with the black community and all those who are, who are feeling hurt right now. We're pausing to make room for other voices to be heard. Together, let's keep building a better future. Black Lives Matter. Uh, something to also note too, first has po postponed the FTC game teaser release in response to this posting as well. Uh, and first is still looking for a director of uh, equity, diversity, and inclusion uh, after the departure, the departure of Sheila Henderson in April. You can find out more about this posting and more about first stance at firstinspires.org. Up next, we got Stepbotics.io. For years, the mainstream go-to for basic insights into FRC has always been the Blue Alliance, and now a new powerful tool has hit the web. Stepbotics.io just released their site and is monitor, monitor, monitorizing, I can't say that word, modernizing FRC data analytics, currently focused on ELO rankings. Um, check it out now and see how the team compares to some of the best in the world. See the year over year improvements your team has made compared to the compare your teams to compare your team to your friends' teams for bragging rights and even predict the outcomes of match with plans to add more content related to OPR event predictions and Zebra Motion Works data. This site is sure to become a powerful FRC data tool and you should check it out now. Adam, looks like you might have upgraded with the two fifty four based on this. Yeah. What what do you mean by that? Uh, versus nine seventy three on here. Oh gotcha. Uh, so even though FIRST has stated that they will not support uh, off-season events officially, last week Team 1577 Steampunk from Israel dropped a huge announcement that they will be running three competitions to make up for the, the missed events in Israel. The Golden Gears event will have two back-to-back -back events and also a grand finale that they are calling the Israeli Festival of Champions. So that stings a little bit. The <laughs> event is only available to teams in Israel and is scheduled uh, to run in early August. Yeah, one of the things we'll be talking about later is uh, if we uh, might be seeing events anywhere else, not just you know in the U.S., which might not be a possibility, but perhaps somewhere else in the world. Uh, some unfortunate news, by the way. Andy Mark has made a decision to downsize their workforce uh, over the past weekend. Uh, we did reach out to Andy Mark, and Mary Baker responded that approximately 18% of their workforce was reduced. Uh, this included voluntary layoffs, choosing not to fill open positions, and also positions that, quote, we could shift responsibilities for the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, so lots going on uh, with that. Mary does state that Annie Mark uh, knows the next, quote, uh, 12 to 16 months won't be easy, but we are committed uh, to our staff and to our customers to make sure Annie Mark survives. We are looking at new markets and have received some ideas from our customers. Uh, if you're interested in uh, helping support Andy Mark, by the way, and, and you know on Fun, we're really big on helping support the suppliers. Uh, as you go through, you can refer uh, your local law enforcement to Transcend Tactical, which is a stair climbing robot. You can start an FRC uh, or FTC team, as anything you do to expand first will benefit suppliers. Uh, and this is coming from Andy Mark, um, what we can do for those things. Uh, and you can look for more information on their Skitter Classroom robot in the coming weeks. Uh, might hear we have some of that coming up soon, some more information for you. Uh, I know that many of us, by the way, have friends on Andy Mark. I definitely do uh, for things. So it's always uh, uh, something we don't want to see in the community, uh, no matter what for that. Uh, but, uh, you know, all we can do is wish Andy Mark the best. They're a company I think is going to be really resilient. And I can't wait to, uh, you know, see how they come out of this. And I, I know it's going to be in the right way. So, Andy Mark, uh, hopefully you're listening. Uh, good luck to you on that. And I, I really do hope things work out well for you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, moving right along now, we can talk a little bit about the new First Inspires website layout. So First has a refreshing new look on their website. If you go to firstinspires.org, you'll see the new nav bar and the layout tailored to the first Game Changers theme for the next season. If you scroll down a bit, you may have noticed First's home learning page where teams can participate. 
uh, in the first at home activities, remote learning resources and more. So if you're bored stuck at home or have team members that are unable to check out, uh, make sure you check out these activities that can be done both as a team and at the individual level. And that is our headlines. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.